Okay, what's up guys, this is Tashi and today I'm gonna bring you a war planning and um, attacking video. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly show you what happened now in the war over the last few hours. We are ahead with two stars but we've only used 13 attacks, they've used 16 attacks. Um, and at the moment they only have one top guy with uh, attack still left. You see there, number, level 72, number 5. So it looks like we can take this one. Our only uh, a base with only one star is this number 5. And what I've done is I've saved my attacks to see if I need to sweep up or not. Those bottom 4 guys will probably not attack. I think both, both of them has tried that number 7 so they won't be able to take him out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show you how I prepare for a war attack. Now, if there's a replay, always go through that because then you can see what clan castle troops there are and what worked and what didn't. Now, this was Anna's attack. She did really well. The only problem was um, the dragons got side. They got distracted by some of the buildings that leads the dragons around the side. So let me quickly speed this up. She did the right thing though. She took care of some of those side buildings and then over here, she did try to take care of that um, spell factory with those two or three wizards but unfortunately it was just a few seconds too late and then what happened was the dragons two of the dragons started going off to the side and it left uh, the few dragons um, two little dragons actually in the center of the base going for the town hall so I will probably do the same I'll train up an all dragon attack and then I'll try let me quickly show you um, there's archers and wizards in the clan castle so what I'm going to do, this is how I would prepare for an attack. I'll scout the base. I know the range of the clan castle. It's almost unlurable. And I don't want to try and lure it because dragon takes a lot of time to actually finish up the, all the structures. So I'm just going to rage it up. Now what I would do is I would look at the range of the air defenses. And I'll see that I'll be able to take up all those top three buildings without my dragons taking any damage and as soon as they get closer to the center I'll probably start raging them up. The next thing I'll do is first of all I'll probably drop my king on the spell factory and wait for him to take out the spell factory and maybe this army camp because then if the dragons get dropped or gets close to this elixir collector they will go towards the air defense. So that is my attack strategy. I'll train up th um, all dragons and then I'll, I do have three rage spells already and then I'll probably take out the spell factory first and hopefully this army camp and maybe that hut then it will definitely force the dragons towards the um, air defense and then I'll see I think those buildings I'll probably drop one dragon here close to that wall there because it's out of range of the air defense and then if that elixir collector is gone and I drop my dragons on the top there they'll probably go for the next building which is that one and not off to the side from there hopefully they'll go to the dark elixir draw and from there hopefully they'll jump to the inside so let's hope that happens but that is probably my thinking in um, going for this attack the reason why I'm not attacking from the bottom is because usually if you get stuck on these high hit point buildings of dragons those two air defenses will probably take them out quite quickly and I assume there's hidden teslas behind the clan castle the clan castle is also very high hit point so it will be better to drop your dragons as close to the air defenses as you can. The nice other thing is this air defense is completely out of reach of the town hall. So if I do take out those two air defenses and I have dragons at the top still available, then they should take out the town hall and at least we'll get one more star. So I'm going to hope for three stars, but I'll be fine with a two star as well. But anyway, so that's my thinking. Um, let me quickly show you. I'll pop in later again. At the moment, I'm waiting to train up some dragons. I've got two already. So, at the moment, the other two, they're all training up. So yeah, I will be back and I'll maybe record a live clan attack for you guys. So see you in a bit. Okay guys, I'm back and one thing before I attack, I always just double check my army, my camps, make sure they are full. I do, whoops, I do have a full clan castle and I do have all my spells. I'm a little bit nervous because this is the first time I'll do a clan war attack live. So I've told the guys I'm gonna attack now. 
nothing has changed on the war side it's still 24 22 they still have one guy left that number five with one attack but I am quickly gonna just have a look at the base again and then I will attack so I need to sort of make a pathway for the dragon so if I take out the spell factory like I said and maybe these two structures I just want to make sure I think I might be able to take out this archer tower without that air defense starting to uh, take out the dragon so maybe if I drop the dragon there somewhere it'll take the elixir collector and the archer tower but anyway so I've got everything's full so let's go for this attack um, all right my heart is racing so let's see I'll put my king at the top here so that he definitely take out there and hopefully that boulders hut and then let's just rage him up I know it's a little bit early but let's see I'm gonna run out of time so I'm gonna start on that one okay now that all the tank castle troops came out so this actually helps me a little bit Oh boy, okay, let's just go for it. Okay, so where are the clan battle troops? They are here somewhere. I'm gonna rage there just in place, and this one here. Hopefully, they'll just go into it. They've made did lots of damage there on my. I think. Oh boy, I still have another troop in the clan. It's okay, so that one is gone. Not sure which ones to rage up now. Ooh, this is tricky. I think I'm gonna. These two start. Okay, they're going the wrong way. Let's raise them up here. See if we can get the town hall and those hidden Teslas. Okay, so there we've got the two star. I'm very happy with that. I'm a bit scared of that. That one air defense will probably take out all the rest of the dragons because there's too many hit point high hit point buildings around it. All the edit, all the uh, storages are there. All right, so I don't have any spells left. I don't have any troops left. At least I got the two star, so that's a way forward. If I'm very lucky, those oh, dragons, yeah, no, they weren't. Not, probably not going to make it. They're going to not go for the air defense immediately. Um, and this one is definitely going to get stuck behind. Oh, that was close. Okay, so this will probably be a two star, but I'm actually happy with that. I'm fine with that at least we get one more star so alright that is my first live attack um, I thought I'd probably get round about there but yeah that was um, it's good enough for me it puts us three stars ahead so even if he gets a three star on my base they'll only be able to draw so what I'll do now is I will attack um, probably sweep up there number seven let's have a quick look I think I might actually just go for this one and see if I can get that extra star. I'm really keen on trying a Balloonian attack on this base. I know Caveman tried one but unfortunately spells just didn't work out so I will try and do the same. But anyway thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helped you guys. That is how I plan and well executed and clan attack. Um, this was a, quite a good base. Um, so yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And stay tuned for more videos. And comment and like and subscribe if you guys can. Thanks. Have a good day.